Are you feeling just kind of You're melting into the couch? Well, let's talk about getting up and doing something. And how that makes us happy. Yeah, so let's talk about not Canadian. Nah. Fitness. It's more boot. Um, yeah, well, it, well, it kind of depends if nah. you're from Montreal or if you're from Quebec. Oh, really? Which is kind of the same thing. Did, so some say a boot, some say a boat, but rarely do they say about. And they never say a bit. But we're Scott and Jeff, and we're here at, uh, well, we're just here. But behind us... We are here at Cup. It's not like they officially are having us be here, but, you know, maybe someday they'll chip in some money. Who knows? Hey, nice. Vasa Fitness. Now, Vasa. many of you probably don't know, or I don't, I don't think Vasa is a nationwide, worldwide... Oh, not yet, brother. You think they're going to own the world? Oh, gotcha, right there. I know that they took over the, uh, I don't know if it was, was Gold's. It Gold's maybe? I think it was the Gold's Yeah, it might gym. have been Gold's. Because there's World Gym. Yeah. But that's different. I remember my wife is from a small little fart of a town in Arizona called, called Snowflake, Arizona. Some of you may have heard of Snowflake. You might even have people that you know from Snowflake. But if you do, you know, it's got maybe at any given time a rolling population of around three to 5,000. It's and in it the middle snow, of the right? desert. No, there's no, no snow. snow at all. Oh, no, no, no. They do have a winter. Okay, okay. Because they're, they're, they're eastern Arizona. And anyway, they're kind yeah. of high up. But it's still deserty and just scruppy. Scruppy? Scrappy, scrubby. Swippy, swammy, Samsonite. It's a family of 10 kids. They, they could not move away fast enough when they were grown. Everyone's gone now. Anyway, I, 30 years ago, I go down there to meet her family to get married. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, I, said I, I, might have, I must have been working out at the time. I don't know. I yeah. obviously don't now. I mean, not like I should. And she said, you know, we have a, we have a Gold's Gym here in, uh, in Snowflake. Now, this was 30 years ago when Gold's Gym basically existed on Venice Beach yeah. in downtown New York City. With Arnold. One in Chicago. You know, uh, kind yeah, of the uh, big cities. It was just starting more or less to kind of franchise itself out there or however they were doing it, whatever mm -hmm. their model was. And I said, you have a Gold's Gym in Snowflake, Arizona, population 2,500? Yeah, we do. I've been to it. It's great. Again, a Gold's Gym. Crazy. Yes, a Gold's Gym. Gold's Crazy. Gym. I get down there. We go over to the gym. It was called Goals. G-O-A-L-S? G-O-A-L apostrophe S. <laughs> Goals Gym. <laughs> whether, it's, whether it's Goals or Golds. A gym is a gym. A is gym, gym is a gym. Obviously, working out is going to make you happy. Now, I have issues with working out, primarily because I've had chronic, oh, no, oh. chronic lower back pain for eight yeah. years. It's inoperable. They can't do anything. So... I've got a little tip that works for me. There's an app out there, and I'm, we have no connection, no royalties whatsoever. It's the number seven, and then MWC. It's seven minute work challenge. And they've put seven together- Seven minute workout challenge? Yeah, yeah, probably. seven minute workout challenge. They put together these seven minute workouts. I'm telling you, at the end of this thing, you are just dying, but they take you through 10 exercises in seven minutes. You can repeat it. So for those of you that might have challenges working out or going to the gym, that seriously you got a physical ailment that That's is good. you know chronic then try that it's it's really cool it's uh, something that i can do in my hotel room or at home or whatever so do, what kind of exercises does it include i mean you know like push-ups that's a burpee right no but you're not jumping <laughs> No, that is kind of a burpee, which doesn't make me burp at all. No, you've got you've got like push-ups. By the way, if you don't know, yeah, are push-ups that you kind of come up and then you jump and yeah. then you go back down. Yeah, you've got wall sits, you've got lunges, you've got push-ups, you've got crunches. You know, it's all in there. So and it's, it's and it's supposed to be seven minutes long. Yeah, they give you like a uh, I think there's a 10 second break between 10 or 15 second break between each exercise, and I'm telling you, the heart rate is going. It's anyway, that's that's one well, suggestion for me. No, I think that's a great. That's really all we need. I mean, the fact is, is if you're looking for an instant upper and when we talk about ups we're talking about from my book the seven ups of happiness there's a bunch of ways that you can kind of link the word up into ways to be happy and push ups sit ups pull ups whatever it is give but, up yeah don't right uh, but the idea here is um, whatever it was we were talking about just just do something right <laughs> wait what was I gonna oh I was gonna say yeah it's how to be happy right? yeah how can you be happy these quick little tips actually work why because they're instant uppers so it's one thing to look for ways to be overall happy. 
to just sort of have a foundation of happiness like that is who you are from mm -hmm. day to day. It's another thing to be working towards that and trying to become happy. And you do smaller little, you know, uh, steps of Incremental along Thank the you. way, That's yeah. The word. See, yeah. This is why he's here and for no other reason. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to be doing, you know, three, three sets of 15 reps right off of the shoot. If you do, you're going to be like my nephew when I took him after he had, you know, done a two-year service mission for, for our church, right? He gets back. First time he's worked out, I take him to the gym half hour and 10 minutes into it, he has to go to the bathroom to puke. <laughs> he's, I'm back in my high school <laughs> range he here, you know? Oh, workout, no, was he, he wasn't. He wasn't. But there's something, you know, these endorphins that the, that the brain creates and sends these kind of happy chemicals through the body are produced and immediately sent when we start exercising. So again, if you want to instantly, immediately, right now, be happy, you know, go to 7 W 7, 7 uh, M -W -C. W you can click on it. We'll have a link here. Yeah. Dot com and look up these quick little easy ways to yeah, do it. If you don't great. go there, you know, you know the all ones from high school. Jumping jacks, almost anybody can do. Push-ups, sit-ups, little isometric exercises where you push back against your mm -hmm. own arm or in a door frame or whatever. There's just little things that you can do to get your heartbeat pumping, yeah. to get your sweat dripping. Here's my favorite exercise. And to get chemicals oozing. Yeah. Just do that for 30 minutes, especially out in a parking lot when everyone starts to look at you. <laughs> do it yeah. for seven minutes and you'll be pummeled by a street gang. Yes. Maybe within 30 seconds. Yeah. So get up, get out, get working out, and I think you'll be a lot happier. Woo! Hey, thanks for joining us once again. If you're enjoying these little videos, please tell a friend, like us, and share some comments. Uh, you know, you probably have your own little quick routines or other, you know, can't miss exercises that boost your mood right away. We'd love to hear from you about it. So add something there in the comments. Thanks everybody. We will see you in our next episode, Where Air That May Take Us.